Have you ever stumbled upon a film that, despite its age, manages to captivate with a timeless narrative? The Stranger, a 1946 cinematic gem directed by Orson Welles, is one such classic that continues to resonate with audiences. The first time you encountered this suspenseful tale of post-World War II intrigue, it likely left an indelible mark. As we delve into the labyrinth of this noir thriller, consider the impact it might have had on your own life. Has The Stranger inspired unexpected contemplation or triggered personal reflections? Share your experiences in the comments below. We're eager to hear your stories and cherished memories associated with this film. Now let's uncover some intriguing facets of The Stranger. Did you know that Orson Welles not only directed, but also starred in this psychological thriller? His portrayal of a war crimes investigator tracking a Nazi fugitive adds a layer of complexity to the film. Additionally, the stark cinematography and suspenseful score contribute to the movie's enduring allure. Before we explore your connections to this classic, consider your most cherished memory or personal experience related to The Stranger. What emotions or reflections does it evoke for you? Share your thoughts with us in the comments below. Engage with us as we unravel the layers of this cinematic masterpiece. Your insights and anecdotes bring a unique richness to the discussion. Let the conversation begin. The Stranger, a 1946 film directed by Orson Welles, unfolds a gripping narrative embedded with post-World War II tensions. The storyline revolves around an investigator named Mr. Wilson, played by Edward G. Robinson, who is on a quest to expose a high-ranking Nazi war criminal, Franz Kindler, portrayed by Welles himself. As Wilson delves deeper into the pursuit, he uncovers a web of deceit and hidden identities in the seemingly idyllic town of Harper. The film's atmosphere is enriched by Wells' signature chiaroscuro cinematography and tense pacing, creating a palpable sense of suspense. Notable for its exploration of war crimes and the moral aftermath of the conflict, The Stranger delves into the complexities of guilt, redemption, and justice. The film's impact resonates through its nuanced portrayal of characters grappling with the aftermath of war, setting it apart as a thought-provoking noir thriller that transcends its time. Wells' directorial finesse and the cast's compelling performances have secured The Stranger a lasting legacy in cinema, influencing subsequent works that explore the moral ambiguities of historical events. A cinematic gem that delves into the shadows of the human psyche, The Stranger remains an enduring classic. Richard Long, the youngest member of the cast at 18, made his second on-screen appearance in The Stranger. Despite his youth, Long later gained fame for television roles. Tragically, he passed away at 47, five years younger than Edward G. Robinson during the film's production. In a gripping scene where Maynike attempts to kill Mr. Wilson, an unexpected detail emerges. The gymnasium's escape door bears a sign, Use at Your Own Risk, signed by Coach Roski. This obscure connection traces back to a football coach at Todd School in Woodstock, Ill, where Orson Welles studied in the early 1930s. Notably, The Stranger holds a place among the 1001 movies you must see before you die, as acknowledged by Steven Schneider. This recognition underscores the enduring impact of Welles' exploration of post-World War women II tensions, hidden identities, and moral complexities. Richard Long's early career and later tragedy, the intriguing detail in the escape scene, and the movie's inclusion in the prestigious list collectively contribute to the rich tapestry of The Stranger. It's a testament to the film's lasting significance in cinema, delving into the shadows of human psyche and moral ambiguities. In a scene that might go unnoticed by many, Orson Welles' character in the 1946 film makes a seemingly mundane purchase a bottle of Coke for a nickel. But when we fast forward to 2019, the equivalent buying power of that nickel is approximately 66 cents, considering inflation. The classic six five-ounce glass bottle of Coke featured in the movie contrasts sharply with the eight five-ounce aluminum can we are accustomed to today, which would cost between $1.49 and $1.99. In 1946, getting a Coke for a nickel was indeed a good deal. This small detail reflects not only the changing times, but also the subtle ways in which films capture the essence of an era. Beyond the gripping narrative and well-less directorial finesse, such nuances offer a window into the everyday life of post-World War Roman II America. It's a reminder that movies, even in their seemingly trivial moments, serve as time capsules, preserving the social and economic context of their production. The movie itself, known for its exploration of war crimes and moral aftermath, takes place against the backdrop of a New England town 
with elaborate exterior sets constructed in Hollywood on the back lot of the United Artists Studio. The church with its 124-foot clock tower and the intricate details in the scenery, as seen in Life magazine production shots, reveal the meticulous effort put into creating a believable world. Interestingly, the backdrop also inadvertently captures the industrial landscape of the time, with a collapsible natural gas storage tank visible in the background, a mere block away from the studio. As we delve into the layers of The Stranger, it becomes evident that every detail, from the cost of a Coke to the construction of the sets, contributes to the film's rich tapestry. These seemingly unrelated elements come together to enhance the viewer's experience, offering more than just a narrative a snapshot of post-war America, both in fiction and reality. Orson Welles, known for his penchant for lengthy exposition scenes, faced a significant setback during the production of The Stranger. International Pictures granted editor Ernest J. Nims the authority to trim any deemed unnecessary sequences from the film. Much to Wells' dismay, Nims excised nearly 30 minutes from Wells' final version, including a substantial 19 minutes from the film's opening. Regrettably, the lost footage, even from the original negatives, remains elusive. Despite this editing ordeal, Wells was not short on recognizing talent. The film's camera operator, John L. Russell caught Wellis' admiration for his resourcefulness and daring approach. Wellis' praise for Russell extended beyond the stranger. He elevated Russell to the position of director of photography in his subsequent film, Macbeth. Such behind-the-scenes dynamics shed light on the intricate process of filmmaking and the challenges faced in crafting a narrative. The delicate balance between creative vision and practical constraints, as exemplified by Wells and Nims, adds a layer of complexity to the production of The Stranger. In the end, the film, now regarded as a classic, stands as a testament to the resilience and adaptability required in the cinematic realm. As the celluloid curtain falls on this cinematic journey, I invite you to traverse the corridors of your memories and unravel the tapestry woven by The Stranger. Like a vintage melody echoing through time, this 1946 masterpiece leaves an indelible mark on the soul. Whether you were enthralled by the enigmatic performances or captivated by the noir allure, The Stranger has become a shared canvas where our emotions intertwine with the silver screen. As you bid adieu to the chiaroscuro landscapes and the haunting echoes of secrets untold, take a moment to ponder the resonance of The Stranger in your own narrative. What scenes linger in the recesses of your mind? Which characters whisper to the depths of your consciousness? Perhaps it's the chiaroscuro of the plot or the chiaroscuro of your own experiences that resonate so profoundly. In the silent echoes of contemplation, allow the allure of the stranger to awaken your personal anecdotes and musings. Share with us the fragments of nostalgia or the epiphanies that this cinematic gem has kindled within you. Whether it's a clandestine rendezvous with its plot twists or a profound connection with its characters, let the dialogue extend beyond the confines of the screen. Your thoughts are the threads that weave the tapestry of shared appreciation, transforming this solitary cinematic experience into a communal masterpiece. So, dear reader, unravel the reel of your memories and let the discourse flourish. Your reflections breathe life into the celluloid veins of the stranger. Thank you for embarking on this cinematic voyage with me. Your time and thoughts are the treasures that enrich our shared narrative. Until our paths cross again in the realm of stories, continue to explore the depths of your cinematic soul.